Hey, what's going on today, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we've actually got a tutorial video. Today, we'll be looking at the specialist classes, in particularly the Spectre, otherwise known as the Ripper ability. This ability is actually an arm upgrade that equips a lethal blade for extended melee lunge attacks. While activated, pressing R3 will melee the Ripper in place of your held weapon. This basically means once it's activated, instead of using your melee ability, you use the Ripper. And in my opinion, it's a very effective tool and a very effective specialist class. I also think that this class works best on smaller maps where you've got a lot of cover, that way enemies can't see you when you're infiltrating the enemy team. The best way to actually use the Ripper is going in behind enemy lines and slowly but steadily and very assassin-like getting in there and tearing the other team apart. Alright guys, so this is just a quick picture from my gameplay. As you can see, there's an opponent in front of us, and what many people don't actually know is you should never activate your Spectre class prior to actually finding someone like I have right in front of me. When you see these blue crosshairs come up, you should activate your Spectre class. When you activate your Spectre class as these blue crosshairs come up on your opponent, it will automatically lunge towards them and will activate your Spectre class. That's what you want to do. A lot of people actually prematurely activate their Spectre class and before they find anyone, they actually run out of time and their Spectre class degrades. So what you actually want to do is wait till you see someone, wait till the blue, blue crosshairs come up as you can see in this picture right here and then you want to activate your Spectre class and as you can see, this is what happens. I'm going to show you exactly how to effectively use this class. There's a one kill, there's another kill, there's a third kill, straight into their base, just like that. And that's how you want to actually use this class. See, still going. In my personal opinion, I reckon the best playlist for this class is actually Domination and Demolition. The main reason for this is simply because you want to get a lot of kills, you don't just want to use this class for one or two, you want to get many. And the spawns in Domination and Demolition are actually very strict as they spawn in one select area and it's much easier for you to get all those crucial kills you've wanted. As you can see I'm playing some Demolition, I'm just waiting out and I get a nice little triple kill here which is what we all want to do. When using the Spectre class, it's also highly effective to jetpack into your enemies as well as slide. As you can see here, I jetpack into my first enemy and there's nothing he can do about that. I then run into my second, luckily he misses that shot. And here I actually slide into my enemy and look how hard it is for him to actually hit me. In my personal opinion, there are three golden rules to using the Spectre class. Rule number one is actually knowing when to activate your specialist class. You should only activate it when you see someone and they're in range. This way you don't waste your crucial specialist class ability and you manage to get some kills. For rule number two, you should actually only activate your specialist class when there's a blue crosshair on your opponent. The blue crosshair simply means that you will lunge into your opponent and most likely get the kill. If a blue crosshair does not appear, this means that you will not lunge and if you attempt to melee, you will only melee in front of you and nothing will happen. As for the golden rule number three, you should always remember to either jetpack or slide into your opponent. This way it's much harder for them to kill you and you have a greater chance of actually lunging into them and getting the kill. By the way guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial video, remember to leave a like and subscribe, it really goes a long way. And thank you for watching, goodbye.